Yet another vacation destination coming under scrutiny now for tainted alcohol. A new report from Costa Rica's health ministry says 25 people died, 59 others had to go to the hospital there. Jennifer Bellamy is looking into what's going on. Jennifer? Cheryl, this is serious. Dozens of people have died since June, and Costa Rica is shutting down businesses to address all of this. The country says no American tourists have died, but many have reported similar troubles in nearby countries. Costa Rica has closed 10 establishments and seized 55,000 bottles of alcohol laced with methanol, a colorless, poisonous alcohol found in antifreeze. Adding it to bottles can allow sellers to increase the potency and the amount of liquid in a bottle. According to the CDC, methanol poisoning can come with symptoms like drowsiness, confusion, headaches, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, comas, seizures, and heart or respiratory failure. A June 2018 study from the International Alliance for Responsible Drinking found illicit alcohol makes up 19% of Costa Rica's total sales. In the Dominican Republic, it's closer to 29%, and in Mexico, 34%. Both countries where Americans have reported concerns about deaths or illnesses following vacations. In some cases, people have gotten sick after consuming drinks from mini bars in their rooms. The Costa Rican Ministry of Health says the 19 men and women who have died there since June were between the ages of 32 and 72, and none of them were Americans. But tourists from the U.S. are still at risk when traveling. The FBI is running toxicology tests on at least two of about a dozen Americans who died in the Dominican Republic, checking to see if tainted alcohol had a role in the deaths. It's not clear if that testing includes a Georgia man who died there in March. Meanwhile, vacation properties are working to alleviate concerns. The Hard Rock Hotel chain has removed liquor dispensers from the rooms at its properties in the Dominican Republic and in Mexico. The Dominican Republic's Ministry of Tourism says it's increasing safety protocols with stricter rules for how hotels handle food and alcohol. And while you're out of the country, exports warn if you've never heard of a brand of alcohol or the price sounds too good to be true, you should avoid it.